How's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Gravy's Workshop. Thanks a million for dropping by. Uh, today I have another video on the MTD Gold Lawn Tractor. Holy crow, how about that, eh? You'll be sick and tired of seeing these videos about this lawn tractor before I get her tuned up the way I want it. But anyway, the other day I put tubes in those rear tires. <laughs> Remember that battle? Battle Royale. Anyways, we got the tubes in, got them aired up, and today I'm going to put those rear wheels and tires and tubes on the tractor and take her for a little test drive. Oh, let's go try it. So we're going to put our wheels back on the tractor. Uh, I had a heck of a time getting the wheels off because these shafts got so rusty. So I'm going to grease those shafts up pretty good. And uh, I think what I'll use for grease on these shafts, crazy grease, why not, right? I guess you could use wheel and axle grease. That would always work. Because after all, use a wheel and an axle. <laughs> the grease on this part of it's not that critical, but I just want to put a good covering on it there. Because this is going to be under the uh, plastic sleeve. So we'll take this extra stuff and put it out on this end. This is where you need to have the grease so that uh, the wheel won't be seized on there like it was when I was trying to get it off. Now these axles, there's no keyway in them. There's just two flats on the end of the axle right here. And they seat into the wheel. And speaking of the wheels, we put tubes in these wheels yesterday. So today, and we aired them up yesterday, so today I want to check just see what the pressure is. We put 14 and it's still at 14 so we never lost any so that's that's good. <laughs> now just wipe this down a little bit. We made some smudges on it yesterday when we were putting it together. Since we took some time to paint these wheels we want to make them look nice at least for a little while. Eh? Okay now I want to put some grease in this wheel in the hub here. So once again, I'll use some crazy grease on that. Pretty rusty in there. Can't see it, because I can barely see it, but it is. But we'll put some grease, a liberal amount of grease. <laughs> okay. So now, when, when we put this on, we have to line it up because the hub is keyed here. And hopefully we can get that. And the whole shaft is turning, I think. shaft was turning so that made it hard to get it on there but, but we got it squeeze out grease there we'll clean that off and then we have a washer a big flat washer and uh, there's a flat washer goes on it and then this is a little bit of a cup to that washer and then here we have a grade 5 bolt that goes in there and that all goes together and threads in the end here. And uh, there's already some remnants of Loctite on that bolt, so... When I was trying to take this wheel off, I had a, a gear puller on there and I may have damaged the starting threads in that. So I'm going to have to see if I can get a tap and chase those threads. So just one second. So if I 16 24 tap, <laughs> of course it doesn't 
fit. So what I'm going to do is take the wheel off again so I can get at that. Okay, uh, I ground down the tip of my tap here to make it like a taper tap. And then I had to clean up the end of the shaft somewhat with a drill bit. So what I did was I took a large drill bit to sort of make a, a countersink relief in the end of it. And then I sort of smoothed up the edges of it with a 6.5 mil, which is a tap drill size for a 5 16 fine thread bolt. So then I was able to get my tap started. Alright, get that tightened up, put a little bit of lubricant on that. in as far as it can go. Just measure that. And it can go in further. further than that because I'm afraid it's pretty tough going. I'm afraid I'll break the tap and that would be a disaster. That should be in there good enough. All right. Let's start over now after that little setback. After running the tap over there, took a lot of the grease off this. So I'll grease this up again because we certainly don't want to uh, have the wheel seize on there again. All right. Here's our wheel with the tube in it. of washer, cup washer, and bolt in place. Yes. Tight now. Now, uh, when I was checking the specs on this, it said 20 foot pounds. So let's see what this is. I've got my uh, torque wrench set for 20. So it's at least 20 foot-pounds on there. So that's that. Kind of disappointed with that wheel bolt. But anyway, not much you can do about it. And then the hub cap. Voila. Okay, now we're going to go do this on the other side. And we'll be ready to take her off the jack stand.
So other than that little issue where I damaged the threads on the axle when I was pulling the wheel off and I had to uh, clean those threads up a little bit and chase them with a tap, uh, this job went pretty good. I was surprised and pleased, I must say. Then I took it for a little test drive, it worked good. Uh, I don't know whether you noticed in the test drive, but the engine on high speed was surging a little. At low speed it would run good, nice and smooth, but at high speed it was surging. Uh, so I think I've got some carburation issues and I also had some problems when I first got the tractor there was gas in the oil so I know that there's issues in around the carburation. So we're going to have an upcoming video on that on trying to address the, the issues with the carburation so stay tuned for that. Another MTD Gold Bond Tractor video. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Anyways, hey if you're new to the channel welcome. I don't just have MTD Gold Bond Tractor videos on this channel. I've got lots of other interesting stuff or I hope it's interesting. So I hope uh, if you're new to the channel that you enjoyed this video and that you come back often and for my regular viewers thank you all very very much. I hope everybody thumbs up me and I hope you all leave me a comment and hey how about subscribing if you're not subscribed already that really helps out the channel and I sure would appreciate that too. So take care have a safe week enjoy what's left of the summer because she's coming to a close and we'll talk.